guys welcome back to think tank online learning so in this video i want to talk about solving a false a long inclined plane so i give you two problems okay so this is the first one this is the second one okay so here we're given a force which is parallel to the slope okay but in this case the force is going inside the slope okay so i want to find f in both sides in both cases the magnitude of the force okay so given that the speed is constant so if the speed is constant that means acceleration is equal to zero Okay, and I given the coefficient of friction, which is mu r. Okay, and I given the mass, and I given the angle, which is theta. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to resolve. So I'm going to draw a free board diagram. Okay, so let me draw something like this. Okay, so we have mass here. Okay, so this is what we have. And we have f which is going up the slope okay so what do we have okay we know the weight will always exit on the slope okay so what is going to be the weight weight is equal to mg okay but we have the normal so this is the normal i'm going to call it r okay so now this is 30 degrees okay so what do we have here Okay, so remember when talked about resolving. Okay, so if you're not familiar with resolving, you can just check on off one of my videos where I explained how resolving work. Okay, you can just go to my playlist on physics, you can just check on resolving. Okay, so now if you go here, look, we have a force that will oppose this normal. Since this thing is going to move just along the plane, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll not have an upward movement. Okay, so that means we have a force here. Okay, let me write it in red okay so we have a force here okay by the way this angle is theta by geometry okay and this force since this includes the angle it's going to be the mg times cosine theta okay but what what else do we have okay we also we have another donut force okay okay so this particle we have a force that will push it down on the plane and that force is equals to since this is mg cos theta so the force that is going in this direction is going to be mg sine theta okay but what else do we have remember we have the friction and the friction they just got friction here and call it fr okay it's going to oppose the motion friction or oppose the motion okay so now let's write how many questions do we have okay first of all we should consider friction okay friction just going to be the coefficient of friction times the normal of the particle okay but you know that normal r is equals to it is going to equate it since we're not going to have an upward motion so it should be equal to this force that means we have a resulting force of zero so it's going to be mg cos theta that means r is going to be 75 times gravity okay i'm using 10 as my gravity okay times cos 30 okay so what are going to have on the normal okay so if we say 75 times 10 times cos 30 what are going to get okay we're going to get 649.52 neutrons okay so that means friction and we get friction here it's going to be the coefficient of friction 0.2 times the answer that we got here 649.52 neutrons and what are going to have times 0 0.2 okay so we have 129 neutrons okay so now what else do we need to calculate okay so here i was resolving the plane of the plane or solving the of the plane and now i want to resolve parallel to the plane so now remember what we're going to do we're going to use newton's second law of motion so what we're going to what do you know about newton's second law of motion we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration okay so force remember we have main forces here so i want to find the resultant force since i'm resolving about the plane i'm going to say f minus remember if mg sin theta the force that is acting down on the plane mg sin theta minus the frictional force okay and this should give us mass 
times the acceleration but since the speed is in constant that means the acceleration is equal to zero okay so this is equal to okay this is equal to zero okay so now if we make f with the formula i want to see that f is equals to zero plus fr plus mg sine theta so that means f is equal to 129 newtons plus what is going to be the mass 75 gravity 10 okay mass times gravity okay sine theta which is going to be sine 30 and what we're going to have going to have 129 plus 75 times 10 sine 30 okay and we're going to have 504 newton okay so this is the magnitude of the force in case number let me just write it case a and this is case b okay so now for b okay so for b it's not going to be it's not going to be same like this okay but just we're going to use the same concept okay so our free body diagram okay so let me just i'm going to just write the angle okay so what do we have okay so for this board okay we have a normal let me just write something like this okay so we have okay, this number b we have a normal r okay and We have a downward force which is mg sine theta. Okay, and also we have I'm going to write plus friction. Okay, since you see the downward force plus friction. Okay, then what do we have here? Okay, we have the weight mg. Okay. And they say this angle is theta. Okay, you say this angle is theta. And they say the force that is opposing the normal is going to be mg cos theta. Okay, but now remember also if this is going to be our force. Okay, so we have our force f which is horizontal to this plane okay so that means our f is going to act on it's going to act on different sides okay so we have okay so now using geometry okay so let's just write this is f okay mg for the weight mg cos theta which is opposing to this one then we have mg sine theta, the downward force plus the friction. Okay, so this. Okay, so this is also equal to theta. Okay, so some of you may wonder why. Okay, so this is theta. So if I draw a small triangle here, okay, let's say this is theta. If I draw a triangle, I'm going to get theta. This is also always be theta. Okay, so now that means. F we have F cos theta here. Okay, but here also we have F sine theta. Okay, remember the force is going to act upwards and parallel to the plane. Okay, so this is what we have. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to first resolve upwards. So what is going to be R resolving upwards? So for R, we have what is going to happen? We have R resolving upwards, okay? We have R minus mg cos theta. But now we have the friction minus F sine theta. And this should give us zero, okay? And R is going to be 
f sin 30 plus mg 75 gravity 10 cos 30 and what we're going to get okay so sin 30 is 0 0.5 so we're going to get 0 0.5 f plus 75 times 10 cos 30 what we're going to get okay so we're going to get 6 49.52 newtons okay so resolving first of all we have the friction so we have to do the friction we know that friction is equal to mu r friction is equal to mu r will be the quotient of the friction Okay, so the question of friction is 0 0.2 times the 0 0.5 f plus 6 49.52 newtons. Okay, so I think we can simplify 0 0.2 times 0 0.5. We're going to have 0 0.1. Okay, plus 6 foot 0 0.2 times 649.52 what we're going to get we're going to get plus 129.90 neutrons okay remember we still have f here okay and now what we're going to do we're going to resolve parallel to the plane okay so let me just write here resolving parallel to the plane okay so parallel to the plane what do we have we have this upward force which is going to be f cos theta okay then what do we have only f negative mg sine theta minus the frictional force fr this should give us mass times acceleration is in newton second law of motion okay so remember let me just push right angles here we have said all forces that are parallel that are perpendicular to the direction of the motion will not affect okay so now this is what we have okay so let's go and find so let So let us find what is F. Okay, so using this question, question number one and equation number two. Okay, so I think we're good. So what we're going to do here. Okay. So first equation we have that R is equal to zero comma five F plus six forty nine. 0.52 newtons okay then we have f cos theta f cos let me just write f cos 30 is equal remember that ma we said mass is into 5 acceleration equals to zero since speed is constant plus this force 0 comma 5 we have the frictional force okay it's actually 0 comma 1 f plus one point it's 129 okay so 129 it runs okay plus mg okay it is the mass 75 graphite 10 and we have sine we subtract f on both sides okay see you can just say f cos that minus 0 comma 1 f okay and we're going to get zero here yeah? and we have 129 Point 0.9 okay plus 750 sine 30 so we're going to get 750 times sine 30 and that will give us 375 okay so we can factor out f for here c we have cos that minus 0 comma 1 and we're going to get 375 plus 129 okay and that will give us 504 Okay, and if we divide both sides by cos 30, 
minus 0, 0,1 cos 30 minus 0, 0,1 and what are we going to get okay we're going to get 504 divided by cos 30 minus 0, 0,1 and the answer is going to be 657.94 newtons